Member for uh, Port Moody, Coquitlam. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Thank you. Climate change will result in water shortages, food shortages, severe droughts, acidification of our oceans, melting of our polar ice caps, increased frequency of severe storms, flooding, and wildfires, the collapse of long stable ecosystems, and massive migrations of people. So what are we going to do about it? The previous government convened a team of experts in 2015 to answer that question and came up with 32 recommendations, which established greenhouse gas reduction targets and expansion of BC's carbon tax, and numerous recommendations for industry, transportation, buildings, and communities. But the recommendations were not followed. Instead, the recommendations were rewritten in Calgary with representatives from the oil and gas industry. Seven of the original members of the climate leadership team wrote a letter expressing concern over the lack of action. They wrote, BC is in no position to delay or scale back its efforts. The rest of Canada and the rest of the world have been taking action since BC's initial climate plan in 2008, and BC's increasing carbon pollution is taking us in the wrong direction. The climate leadership team recommendations implemented in their entirety provide the blueprint for a BC climate plan to put the province back on track for the 2050 and interim 2030 targets. Anything less is not climate leadership. Last week, this government followed through on its promise to renew the climate leadership team within the first 100 days of being in government and created the Climate Solutions and Clean Growth Advisory Council with a mandate to provide advice on implementing the 32 recommendations of the previ previous climate leadership team and further advise government on how to do this while growing a sustainable economy and creating jobs. Climate action and job creation go together, hand in hand, and BC is poised to be a leader in climate action once again, and maybe in 2050 things will be just a little bit cooler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.